What are you here for? What is your purpose? What has God called you? Right? And I'm not talking about this big, grand. Some people think purpose means that you have to be seen and known all over the world. Right? You can, you can be known by a select few and still contribute to this world. I'm in a space and I fly so high, high. Purpose on my mind, I got a call in the sky, sky. The ground, a troubled mind, need a life, line, arm stretched out. That's the brothers keep us way. Good morning, beautiful people. Yeah. Listen, guys, Titus Slender here with Titus Slender.com. You're singing realtor slash entrepreneur slash anything that God calls me to do. I want to make a quick video and I want to talk about, as you can see in the title, purpose over person. I think that this is this is important, especially for men, understanding and walking into your purpose and understanding that your person should never come before your purpose, right? Because you are put on this earth to serve a greater purpose for the benefit of others. Um, when you put person over purpose, it's actually innately selfish. Now, sometimes your person um, and putting that uh, forward, right, to avoid something else, it's all for your greater purpose. And what I mean when I say that is sometimes you might have to cut people off in your life, right, because they are inherently affecting your purpose, right? They are negative. They're toxic. Uh, they don't serve you and your pur purpose. And so for your own purpose, for your own person, you sometimes have to look at people and say, I have to love you from a distance, right? And that benefits your person because it ultimately benefits your purpose, right? And I want to encourage people to understand, right, that your purpose complements your person. There is, no, there is no reason for your existence except that you understand, you seek, you learn your purpose and you walk into that purpose. I want to, let, let me break it down in this way. Uh, let's, let's, let's go away from divine purpose and let's talk about natural purpose. Uh, I'm a man, I'm a father, I have five kids total, I'm a husband, but let's just talk about fatherhood. My natural purpose is to be there for my children, is to lead my family, is to show my sons what it is to be a man, is to show my daughters what love looks like from a man as they watch me interact with my wife, um, what love feels like. So that way when they get older, they're not, uh, they're not blown away by the first guy that calls them beautiful because I've already taught them their value, right? That is my natural purpose. The, the, the second I chose to be a, a husband and a father, that is my natural purpose. And what I'm saying is that if you put yourself, and we all know this, we all understand this, we say, okay, I understand I can't be selfish when it comes to my kids. But that's how you view purpose in general, right? Because when you understand that you live, you breathe to lead your family as a man the same goes for your purpose overall because your children they will grow up and they will leave you right the bible talks about your children leaving you right your your daughters will leave you and marry a man that will be their cover and your men the, your your sons will leave you and they will leave their own family it doesn't mean you won't participate in their life right but what i'm saying is that is your natural purpose, but overall you do have it a, 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 a divine pur purpose. And I am encouraging you, understand that your purpose, when you understand your purpose and what that looks like, it will help you make decisions in life. For example, if you are a father, you know you need to take care of your family, right? And so that means that part of your purpose is making good money, right? It's not about loving money. It's about understanding that my family needs me to earn a certain amount of money, right? Because that is part of my purpose, right? It's, it's um, oftentimes if you watch the show Shark Tank, they always talk about when, when they talk to individuals and people have a certain passion 
and love and they say, I don't want to do X, Y, and Z, right? But then on the flip side, they say they feel like their purpose is to help uh, 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 orphanage, uh, orphan, or open up schools and so forth. And what do the sharks tell them? They say, in order to do that, you need to make money. It all goes hand in hand, right? And so we have to, I'm encouraging you, even from a standpoint of money, but this is not about money, but I'm encouraging you to shape how you view things as of now and first develop uh, uh, your passion for your purpose. Seek your purpose, understand your purpose, and then move accordingly, right? You, you, you can't say on one end, my purpose is to leave my family, but then, then say, I'm not going to work and God is going to take care of me. That's out of order. If your purpose is to lead your family, are you leading them in the way that God instructs you by being homeless? No, we understand that concept. That's the same thing with purpose. Mothers, it goes for mothers as well. Understanding, what are you here for? What is your purpose? What has God called you, right? And I'm not talking about this big, grand. Some people think purpose means that you have to be seen and known all over the world, right? You can, you can be known by a select few and still contribute to this world, right? And, 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 and let your light shine and, and let people see you and know that that is a peculiar individual. Sometimes we're selfish and we say things like, I want to make me happy. But if you're a father and you're a husband, your personal happiness, in essence, is irrelevant. But if you understand your purpose, your happiness will come because you're serving your purpose, right? Leading your family, protecting, guiding, creating a legacy. That will inherently create and breed happiness from you, right? But when you view happiness and say, I want to be happy, so I want to buy this and buy that. I want to live to do that. I don't care what the, what's going on because I want to be happy. You're viewing happiness wrong. Your happiness is going to stem off your purpose. Purpose comes before person. Your purpose will complement your person, but never put your person over your purpose. Titus Lennon here. Please hit the subscribe button. Don't care what people say I'm on ego time zones Flying high, I'm riding fade